In this video I want to talk about hair loss and how to avoid hair loss without blocking DHT. So DHT blockers for hair loss is the probably worst thing you can do. I have my own experience. It put me in a spiral of anxiety, low libido, sexual dysfunction. So I am big advocate for uh, anti-hair loss protocol without DHT blockers. Okay, and in this video, I will also tell you uh, what would be probably the best way and what what really affect the hair loss itself. Okay, so there is probably not just one reason, and I have put this 17 pages protocol in my Testo Hackers uh, community, okay? So if you want to get this anti-hair anti loss protocol, you will get this in Testo Hackers community, okay? So the, the main thing in this video would be how to address the root cause of hair loss without lowering DHT, because DHT and 5-Af reductase are the most important things, guys. So if you want to have perfect mood, confidence, great hormones, everything, okay, so great erections, don't even bother to use DHT blockers and don't even think about finasteride, minoxidil uh, or deuteroside, even things like ketaconazole, okay, I'll, I've been using it for years, okay, so the, the my my blessing was that my hormones were always high and I knew many years ago that what should I do in order to raise my hormones, okay? That was just only one blessing, but I also, like I told you, went into spiral of anxiety, depression and so on, okay? So there are, like I said, blocking 5 alpha reductase what uh, finasteride or deuteroside can do will cause ED, impotence, low libido, anxiety, depression, and much more. And even natural solution can block 5 alpha reductase massively. So uh, please try to get away from shampoos, topical treatments, and supplements that have soap palmetto, stinging nettle, rosemary oil, peppermint oil, helichrysum, italicum, tuya occidentalis, uh, pyroctone, olamine, Ket uh, ketoconazole, ketoconazole, I've been using it for years, guys, almost daily, daily, okay, so it's a big, uh, big problem with this uh, cosmetics and anti-hair loss treatment, and I, I, I really don't recommend, okay, so blocking DHT can help with hair loss, okay, it will not uh, help you with new hair growth, okay, it, it will just maybe prevent not in everyone but it will probably mainly prevent the hair loss but it will not help you with uh, building a new hair okay so i will show you how you can do it but this can also affect your sexual functioning brain health and neurosteroids okay so there are there are also novel peptides but like g ghk cu copper three peptide and they also block 5 alpha reductase to some extent, okay? So in this in this uh, report, I have also listed many of these, okay? And the common causes of hair loss in men, okay? The I think the first place is chronically increased cortisol, okay? I was losing most of my hair during the really hard times when my inflammation was to the roof because inflammation also, it's... A huge stress on your body okay and when I was in heart situa life situation okay so chronically increased cortisol can also gray your hair and also will increase uh, will create a lot of hair loss okay so DHT is not the main reason there is uh, because for example in older guys DHT is much lower than in the younger guys, okay? But the problem is then in older guys, estrogen and prolactin is higher, okay? So another cause for hair loss are chronically increased estrogen, chronically increased prolactin, okay? There are certain medication, injuries, x-rays, aging, 
uh, even specific diets okay can cause a lot of hair loss like vegan vegetarian okay so iron deficiencies eating disorders okay guys a hypothyroidism okay so fungal infection of the scalp okay so uh, inflammatory condition of skin and follicles okay autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto okay hypopituarism celiacic disease okay loose anagen syndrome okay there are many 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 reasons okay so uh, I always recommend doing blood test uh, for hair loss okay before before you try to start some treatment okay so there are many parameters that uh, I would recommend to test okay like I already told you prolactin estradiol okay salivary cortisol okay uh, inflammation markers thyroids uh, ferritin vitamin d3 in this report in test hackers community you have exact numbers you should have in order to prevent this hair loss okay and also in this protocol i am a huge advocate for a new method that is called prostaglandin approach okay so uh DHT can affect prostaglandin, but I will ex uh, uh, explain later on how it works, okay? So, uh, I want to, first of all, I want to show you how you can prevent hair loss without DHT blocking, okay? What, what supplements would be helpful uh, and, and so on, okay? So, generally, okay, I see many guys are uh really low on b vitamins okay so the food you eat uh, my food is very complex okay and high quality so uh vegan vegetarians they all have low level of b vitamins okay even my girlfriend okay so even if you drink a lot of alcohol okay you have you are low in b vitamins okay so b complex is the number one things okay so there are specific uh, probiotics that can enhance hair growth and health okay so there are certain probiotics can improve hair health and make the hair thicker and healthy okay so your gut health is extremely crucial okay so tocotrienols okay vitamin e family okay tocotrienols are powerful form of vitamin e that helps reduce oxidative stress on scalp protecting hair follicles from damage okay so amino acids can help protect hair follicles from fibrosis okay there is one non-essential amino acid and many guys are low and this amino acid can also help you with sleep with inflammation okay so uh, you can use also supplements like boswellia serrata okay uh, Boswellia inhibits uh, five locks, okay, and uh, it's really helpful for you reducing scalp inflammation, okay, because like I told you, scalp inflammation will contribute to hair loss. Dihydroquercetin, okay, not quercetin, dihydroquercetin, because dihydroquercetin is involved in blocking prostaglandin, okay, so possibly by inhibiting. PG, uh, PGH2, okay, metabolite of PGD2, so it will help against hair loss, okay, so not quercetin because quercetin can block 5 alpha reductase, but dihydroquercetin, if you want to know the best source, you will find this in the protocol, okay. Things like zinc, selenium, okay. Vitamin D, like I told you, you need to do blood test, okay, so vitamin D is extremely cool, crucial, okay, so you need to also boost keratin production, okay, I use uh, caffeine mask, it's really simple recipe, nothing sp special, you can do it at home, but you need to apply not so much, okay, so if you, uh, because everything even good thing can damage your scalp okay so uh, you can use keratin supplements okay for to boost keratin production like i told you vitamin b especially biotin is really great okay so like i told you you can use coffee mask okay 
collagen okay you don't need to take these expensive collagen supplements there is something much better and you also need vitamin c that supports collagen uh, production okay so silica there is a really great uh natural topical mask and increase silica okay so like i told you you will find everything in these 17 pages okay so uh again uh, folic acid from uh, b vitamins okay so also anti-inflammatory diet okay so i traditionally avoid polyunsaturated shades okay so because uh, it can increase uh, or reduce pge2 and we uh, we need uh, we need this uh, PGE2 because PGE2 on the other hand is beneficial for hair growth. Okay, so in this prostaglandin approach. Okay, so there are many hair growth solutions without blocking uh, five alpha reductase. Okay, so I was using bulldog root, but bulldog root can help milk five AR inhibitory. Uh, mechanism okay but rosemary oil or peppermint oil is much stronger okay so rosemary oil or peppermint oil i will not even uh recommend okay so uh, hinin shampoo okay i already mentioned in my old videos there are also other things for example this one with silica that is working really great okay so hormones okay so you need to get hormones in balance like i told you cortisol estrogen prolactin okay so uh because uh, for example if i am using some of the supplements okay they they can even create stronger hearts okay uh, stronger uh, hair follicles okay so so dht it look like it's not so not the first choice for hair loss, hair loss okay so uh, like i told you cortisol can be affected by inflammation oxidative stress okay so we also need to reduce cortisol but before you do that uh, make a salivary cortisol test in order to see where is your cortisol okay so uh, estradiol is extremely important okay so if your estradiol is high you will have also problem with erections okay the same with prolactin prolactin will also have negative effect on your hormones okay so prolactin kratom with too much alcohol will also boost uh, prolactin okay so uh, you need to get your hormones in balance okay so if you need help with hormone optimiz optimization you know where you can find me okay like i already told you uh there is a myth that telling that uh, in older guys there is a race in dhd because this is a compensatory mechanism for low testosterone that's bullshit okay so uh older guys have even higher shbg so it means that they have even uh, low free dhd okay so this is completely myth that older guys have higher dhd older guys have higher estradiol and prolactin trust me i see many blood tests so i know okay and a prostaglandin approach okay from testosterone you have dhd and indirectly dhd have effect on pgd2 okay so and uh we are we will not be focusing on blocking dhd because dhd has many beneficial effect on men's health okay mood erection sexual functioning and so on we will we will try to inhibit pgd2 okay so uh there are two two of these okay there is pgd2 that is responsible for hair loss and pge2 that is responsible for hair growth okay the problem is that some supplements block both of them okay pgd2 and pge2 Two, okay so uh high dhd most likely it means also high pgd2 okay so uh and this this create inflammation okay so high amount of pgd2 but it's 
not logical to block DHT because DHT brings a lot of benefits to us guys. Okay, so uh, also lack of CD34 and CD200 progenitor cells uh, preventing growth of new hair. Okay, so what we can do, derma rolling and so on, it can help. Okay, so and if you want to boost hair growth, we need to increase PGE2. Okay, so okay, so the solution for this is we need to increase these uh, progenitor cells. Okay, so we can use Thermaroller, Derminator. Okay, so and what also we can do in this prostaglandin approach, we can inhibit PGD2 and what's even better is to increase pge2 okay so guys hopefully i gave you some overview how uh, hair loss is working okay and yeah let me know what you think bye